Hey babes, welcome back to another vlog. So this portion of our video is gifted by Homery and they did send over to me this beautiful like rattan outdoor daybed. Y'all, you know I recently moved and I wanted to do my balcony. I just wasn't sure of the vibe that I was going for. I got the swing and then I thought maybe I could do like a sofa to fill the space. But then while I was browsing on homery.com, I came across this daybed and I thought it would be an amazing idea to have a daybed on my balcony. It would just be convenient for me not only to sit but also to lay outside. You know when it's a nice day out and the temperature is right, it'll be good to just lay outside and relax. So I chose this item this item came really quickly unfortunately it was delivered on a day that it was raining so I had a little bit of trouble with that but I still worked around it it did say that you need two people to you know assemble but I did it by myself and it worked out so you can do it too it was pretty simple it came like pre like pre done because once you got the legs on and you flipped it over all you had to do was add the um, bed and the cushions which was pretty easy I was like playing around because I wanted to have the sofa right there that was my idea but it didn't work out so instead I flipped it to the other side because what I had measured in my mind was the space for a sofa and not a day bed so you know we quickly maneuvered and I put it up in this corner and I think it looks really great um, I'm going to add some scotch guard as you'll see to help with the water and to protect it and I did get this day bed in the white and coffee color and y'all it is a true white it is super 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 white but if you continue to watch the vlog guys you'll definitely see in depth as to how I put the bed together and what I happened but this is what it looks like just to give you all an overview of the finished look and then I did go in and add like a plant afterwards and I'm still working on how I'm going to finish styling this but I love how it looks let me know your thoughts down below shout out to Homery for sponsoring this portion of the video let's get into the vlog Hey babes, it's been forever. Well, not for you all, but for me, it's been forever. I haven't vlogged in quite a few days and I've been so busy. I just came back from the store. We had gone to Walmart and to Bravo. And on top of that, while I was getting ready to go to the store, the desk came. Remember how we got the desk in my last vlog and it was so terrible. So the replacement came as soon as it came. I took it out and started to just like check if everything was okay. Um, this one is way better. This one is actually new, I can tell. So that's what it looked like. It definitely is not like the same wood as you know my baby's bed, but I ordered a computer um, mat, like a black one, so it'll take up most of it. And then you'll just see like the little tints of wood and it'll be over there. So once you come in, it'll be like, you know, cohesive um but that's really it i just came back from the store i was at tj maxx i was at walmart i went to grab a suitcase um which we're gonna pack right now i went to grab a suitcase because i need to get these clothes now i'm wondering if this is too small i need to get these clothes for my son in there as well as some stuff for him to take to summer school oh and by the way y'all uh, quick update quick update in a little you know a little moment my son did his exams as if as y'all know well, most of y'all my son lives in Jamaica I'm Jamaica my son lives in Jamaica so he was in the sixth grade and he did his his exams and he did so well yesterday was the graduation ceremony it was online and I was watching that thing screaming and just like in the chat acting crazy so um he did his exams and he Passed his exams for um, one of the top schools in Jamaica, in the Caribbean overall. Like, it's one of the top high schools. So I am so proud of him. And like right before like graduation, like the week before, he had won some awards at school for academics and I think for the highest achiever in math. And um, I think overall he got three awards, which was amazing. And then that said day when he had those awards, I'm gonna probably put a picture on the screen somewhere. I don't know, y'all know me. I don't be putting my kid out here and be on here, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys because it's such great news, and I'm so happy and I'm so proud of my son. So he had won that, and on that said day, 
like in the afternoon, then the results for the grade six exams came out. And then he got the school that he wanted to go to. That was his first choice. Cause you get like seven schools to choose from. So, you know, like if you don't pass the one that you want first, they move to the second and to the third and stuff like that. But my son, he knew he wanted to go to, um, that specific school and he was just like that's all i don't want you to pick anything else which but i did because clearly you have to pick it but he told me that's the school i'm going to and he really did and we was watching the graduation yesterday on live stream i was watching it my brother was on there two of my friends were on there and we was in the chat just like blowing it up i'm just like yo at this point this is his graduation no one else is graduating and it was just so good and after he got his like um his certificate and stuff they were giving out special awards and then they called his name for like two awards and i started to scream in my car yeah i was in the parking lot in my car and i was screaming i'm like oh my god because i didn't know he was gonna get extra awards since he just got awards the last week so he got another set of awards again for math in the examinations like overall he got it from math and also for abilities um and on his thing, it says that candidate performed better than 96% of, um, like it would say 96% of other candidates overall. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that's it. I was, I just wanted to talk about my son because he did that and that's it. Um, and I'm so happy and I'm so proud. Oh my God, you have no idea. I am so proud. I'm so proud, okay? Anyways, he has summer school starting next week at his new school, so. I had to get the clothes and the supplies that he needed for summer school um, to send it. So thing is, after I pack this suitcase, I'm taking it, it to his cousin um, and then she's going to take it to Jamaica. She's a flight attendant. But let me tell you how she lives when I put it on a map two and a half hours away from here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna drive. <laughs> to St. Petersburg today, because I think that's what it said on the map. Because um, I'm like, oh, maybe it's a cute hour away. When I put her address in, baby, it was two and a half hours, and without tolls, it's four and a half hours. I'm just like, I bet. So we low-key have a road trip. I put my clothes on to go to the gym, um, as I usually do. But I have wanted to run on the, the road to grab stuff, and then, you know, go to the gym. And then I'm waiting on her to get home because she was in flight when we were talking earlier. She was in Miami and she said she's gonna end in Orlando. So I'm waiting on that and then pack the suitcase, go to the gym and come back. And I guess by then we can like head out. We're going on a road trip, okay? But I did pick up some supplies. He's going to like summer school. I feel like I, I OD'd to be honest. Um, I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that I got. Cause I'm just like, he needs, he needs like stationary reasons though. I don't know. I OD'd, I, I feel like I OD'd. And if I sound very hyper, I just had a Bente white macadamia cold brew, white chocolate macadamia cold brew, and I had all of it. So I feel like I'm very hyper right now, like way too hyper. Um, I'm all over the place, well sorry, I'm excited. I gotta show y'all. I wanted to get him his first big boy like cologne. So at first I got him a Chanel blue, and I know, I'm like, mm. <laughs> but then um, I decided like I'll, I'm gonna gift this to um, gift this to his uncle instead and I got him something else because I feel like he's just gonna use it like water he's not I don't feel like he, he's like at the age where he's like oh Chanel blue like ugh, you know but I want him to smell good nonetheless so I went back and my friend had told me to get him Dolce & Gabbana light blue but I smelled it and to me it kind of reminds me of like body spray and he I already got some body spray to send so I got him Prada Ocean I feel like this smells so good it smells very fresh like it's like a better smell than the light blue it's very fresh um and it doesn't smell like body spray so you can tell that you're wearing cologne like I want him to just like look nice and like you know smell good because my son is 11 he's gonna be 12 he's according to him he's a preteen so i just wanted to get him his little big boy you know cologne his first big boy cologne and stuff so when he's going to like his summer school he can look nice smell nice and just feel good and then he can also like get into like wearing like cologne and stuff um i usually get him like the zara cologne so on guys because i forgot i got milk at the supermarket just now shoot but I got him um, like the Zara 
colognes. You know, like the, the Zara um, kids like sprays. I would get him like the Iron Man and the um. What other one do we get? I think Iron Man and um maybe Captain America one. I don't know, but I feel like those are you know like he needs like something more you know. So I wanted to do that for him because he's been doing so good. Um, and I'm just really proud of him. When I told him I got him cologne, he's like, mom, that's so expensive. I'm like, yeah, like, like it's okay. Um, I wanted to get you, you know, your first big boy cologne because you're going to high school. And I, I didn't want to buy, buy just anything just because, you know, if I'm going to get you something, might as well get you something great because my kid is great. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. Oh, the under um, underwear fit, well, boxers or whatever they're called, and only a packet of like white t-shirts. I didn't know I bought so many underwear. This is like 20 something boxers. Don't ask, because I didn't realize it was that much. And then I managed to put like six of the white t-shirts. I was trying to put the tanks in there, but I don't think they'll hold. So I'm just going to see and then I have to put stuff right there. did it I think we're done I'm gonna try closing it that's the next thing let's see if it closes we did it Joe it's packed it closes I feel like I'm within the, the weight limit so we're good to go oh can it move I'm gonna go try it out there but I live if I can manage to lift it up I don't think it's over 50 pounds I think it's good oh shoot I think it's good let me just clean this up I'm gonna go to the gym and we're gonna do that later guys i'm even cooking like i wanted to make steamed fish today i went and i got the supplies but i have to do that later we ready we ready hey guys i just got back from the gym i'm so hungry i wonder if i can make the fish right now in the meantime because she didn't like tell me if she's back home yet so i'm wondering if i have time but i am starving and i'm so tired and this drive is so long and far oh yeah i think it is the blonde wig it's like silver sort of blonde and like silver i'm gonna do this next week for sure today's thursday I'm not doing that Ready. I got my pot to put in the fish. The fish is right here. They're both seasoned. I'm gonna make both of them. So, you know, I can eat one now. I can eat one like later on or tomorrow. So we're ready to make some steak fish. Baby, the steamed fish is immaculate. Mm, look at all that sauce, look at the carrots, the okros, the pumpkin. If you're Jamaican, then you know this is real good. I'm gonna have it with a cup of rice and some plantains. I'm about to bust this down, y'all. Like, this is so good. It's so good. I didn't even have it yet, but I can tell you it smells so delicious. Like, that fish was too good. <laughs> Hey babes, it's Friday. <laughs> I just had my pre-workout. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. Today is the last day of working out for the week. We made it, we did five out of five. So I'm super happy and excited to just like get this workout in and then have my two day break. But yeah, it's Friday. Um, 
I'm gonna head to the gym and then I'll check in once I come back and I have my hat on only because I'm gonna go get my hair done on Monday I'm due for a touch-up so you know I have my hat on so we don't look too crazy but yeah this is what we're wearing I got this top from Amazon and then these biker tights kind of leggings are from forever 21 and i'm wearing my converse as per usual because we're gonna be doing some legs but that's pretty much it i have my water bottle for her um yeah and guys i didn't take the suitcase last night as i told you i was gonna go drive to take it but i'm gonna take it today she had to go into work so she had a flight um so i'm just gonna meet her by the airport which is way better for me because the airport is right there so i'm gonna meet her at the airport like later on today to give it to her but that's pretty much it we are about to go get this workout in i say we like i'm taking y'all i might take my camera i don't know sometimes the gym be so full and I just can't be bothered with taking the camera out and just like focusing on that. I like to just be there. It's my little escape. Um, but I will see if I can get some clips for y'all with me at the gym. And I'm gonna come back and do the desk for sure because that is like in the way. And I also have a video that is due, which I need to edit. So if I put the desk up, I can put my desktop computer on there. Um, my iMac, I don't know why I just said desktop, but it's the same thing. And then I can just like edit easily versus just not having an area. Hey guys, so I'm back from the gym. Y'all can tell, look at my hair. Let me tell you how I brought my camera, but there was like a whole bunch of guys in the gym, like a whole bunch of them, like a college fraternity. It was like a lot of them. And I didn't have any space to really like do everything that I wanted to do so I just didn't bother with getting my camera I was just more interested in like getting my workout done um I'm having an ensure this is like their protein shake since I want to start having two protein shakes a day and I'm just like I don't I don't like having to make two shakes so I make one and then I feel like if this doesn't make my stomach hurt or anything we'll just like use this as a second shake also I went up to the mail room because i had a package let me tell you how yesterday i was just like scrolling and i don't know how on fashion nova like i have not bought from fashion nova in so many years and i ordered some stuff baby why is that expected delivery will be today why when i went is is here like that was beyond fast i didn't expect to get it today and then it's not even like midday it's been here since like 10 in the morning and i ordered it yesterday that was just like really weird but I'm happy and I'm nervous because their sizing, a lot of people say, is off. And I haven't bought from Fashion Nova in like a long time. Ooh, the colors of these look nice. But I'm wondering if I should have gotten different sizes. One, two. So I got two cargo pants. Let's see if those fit because cargos are weird, especially on my body. Um, and then I got a bodysuit and then I got like two two sets and i got a maxi dress let's see if this works and fashion nova does not give you your money back they do not so i'm hoping these fit wow jeans be fitting me really weird and i never find jeans that fit okay the color is nice that's one okay wait can y'all see let me see how far back i can push y'all Okay, this looks too small. Wait, the waist, uh, okay, I think I needed a size nine. I don't know, but the, the jean, you all see it. It looks good. These jeans feel a little small. Well, they're not, well, they're cargo pants, but they feel small. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh my God. Oh wait. They, they are very tight on the butt. I'm wondering if I needed a nine. Wait, but I think they fit. Okay, okay. I think they fit. I think y'all can see it. Hey y'all, ignore the background, okay? I think they fit and they do go down to the floor. Guys, so this is what I was saying. This is how they fit. Um, 
I'm wondering if I should have gotten them. I think they have another option where you can get them in tall, even though they're actually on the floor right now. Tall would be like a little bit like more, um, a little longer. I don't know. I'm wondering if when I put jeans on, they're going to look um, short. But now they're not looking too short. I mean, I'm on my tippy toes. I never wear cargos, so I don't know. Yeah, so this is the next cargo. I love this one. Um, and this came in a medium. And I think it says it's a tall. So since this is regular, I think I want to send it back and exchange and get the tall. Because this one looks a little bit longer and it looks like how I think I want it to fit. Let me try it on real quick. Um, yeah. But I like that it has stretch. Every time I try to buy cargo pants or, you know, I like go to the mall and try them on. They always look weird on me because they have no stretch and it looks really square. It doesn't fit my body. So I was not on the cargo train, but these have stretch. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one looks like it's, it's good. This is the medium. The small would have been way too big. Um, let me tuck that away. And this, the waist has to get tailored. Yeah. Let me see. This is what they look like. Um, Fits pretty good. It's just the waistband is the problem as per usual. So this is the second outfit and I know it looks ridiculous <laughs> because I still have on my workout top but it's supposed to be like a cowl neck um, crop top kind of vibe and then these pants. I got it in a small and we're just gonna ignore the stuff all around. I think it looks good. It's fun to be the back. Can y'all see? I don't know. But I think it looks good. Not right now, but it, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. It just is the other side. I love it. Look at the body. Look at the body. It's giving, let's go on vacation. I wanna wear this on a beautiful island or something. Like, I love this. And I can definitely see this look with some gold jewelry. We out. It is either, so that's why I mentioned like vacation wear. You can wear um, maybe like your swimsuit or like black underwear and a black top underneath. Or if you don't want to wear nothing, I don't know, you can go <laughs> like nipple covers or something. But I love how it looks and I love how long it is. Yeah, so this works. And y'all will be seeing these on Instagram, so yeah, dressed up. So follow me over there. Oh. In this dress, this dress, baby, it is giving. Y'all, I look crazy, but um, I'm happy with the stuff that I got. Oh my God, my hat is so wet. That's how I know it's working out. I'm happy with the stuff that I got. And I got this bodysuit, but I didn't show it to y'all. I got this bodysuit and I went into it with a denim skirt that I have and some ankle booties. I think when I put it together, it's gonna come together. But anyways, um, these stuff are just to style for reels and things like that. And then I have this Zara dress that I bought, this corset looking dress, so I'm gonna do a reel for that. I'm getting my hair done on Monday, you know, so after I get my hair done, coming home and do my makeup. And then, you know, I'm gonna shoot um, maybe like two outfits, switch the lip. So we have two outfit reels. And then next week, I want to put out like more content on Instagram. Cause I, I really, I just be showing up to Instagram every once in a while, to be honest. Cause I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. I've been putting, don't mind me i washed my hair so i tied it all up anyways i've been putting this this together for over an hour i didn't show y'all because i was putting it together and just losing it this is how far we've gotten i think i'm supposed to flip it over now so i can like do the drawer and also put the rest of the electric um the electronic components on there like right here 
I don't know y'all. I've been doing this a while. I went and made me an iced coffee and yeah, let me tell you how. Let me sit for a second, I'm tired. This is just a lot. Listen, I need to stop this Bob the Builder thing and get somebody else to do it. This is crazy, I'm tired. This was hard, this was so hard. I put the legs on and I put them on like back and front. So I had to take them off, flip them around and put them back on. And I didn't realize until I was like, maybe like 40 minutes into doing this. So I had to take everything off. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, 500 years later. Okay, and it works. I just gotta get the cords um, hidden under there. That's the only thing I don't like with a standing desk because the cords, you know, there's nowhere to hide them. But they did put some things that I can use to control the cords. I hid the cord for the um the motor of the desk but it like it i think it looks so good um after all that i'm still trying to figure out if it's gonna stay here even though that was the plan in this corner and then put the chair like it looks so huge if i put it here then the tv can't go right there it's gonna look crazy um let's see Y'all, I didn't come back to show you, but the desk looks good. You don't even see. Um, I'll show it to you in the morning. Okay, it looks so good. It took me forever, but I'm actually happy with it. It looks great with the chair. Um, I'll get like a riser for this that goes more with like this design style. I love that it has these hooks. You can put your headsets and there's one on the other side. So loving a lot. And then the drawer actually works. And I just put one of my little trays that I had in my other desk in here. And these are just like my computer cords and like different things that I need to store away for right now. And it works. <laughs> like I actually did it and it works. And it goes up so smoothly. Like do you see that? It rises up so smoothly and it can come really high like this is like right here basically like almost at my hip it goes up really really high I won't be using it for that <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna adjust it back down it's pretty cool I think my son will love it even though the desk that he had shown me I gave him two options this one and another one but the other one it, it had neon lights. It's the same kind of wooden material. I feel like why he liked the other one was because it had neon lights, but it didn't look like it would last a very long time. So I preferred getting this. Um, I will get the little neon lights. I could even get it and run it under like the back or even here or something so he would still have light on the desk as he had wanted why am i always late happy saturday paxton has a grooming appointment at nine it's 8 56 and i just left my house it says we're gonna get there at 9 15 oh my god story we made it um but guess what it's raining it's been raining since i was driving i'm just gonna run in the rain and take him out there because we're like 15 minutes late I was trying to be cute i was trying to be cute the rain the rain said girl no girl no it even got my hair wet like y'all i'm gonna go get my hair um done on monday i'm gonna go get my partial the people at chick-fil-a they're superheroes because why is it ringing and they are taking orders in the rain but um i ordered a spicy chicken biscuit i didn't even know they had that i think that's new or i haven't i haven't bought breakfast out here in a while so that's what we got and i got some hash browns and an orange juice i do want to get my coffee but i think i can get that when i pick paxton up for us to go home so i'm just gonna have that and then we're gonna go to target in the rain but we're waiting for our food but we're still in the line um baby why does it look like that but yeah it's as rainy as y'all can see i don't know Ooh, okay <laughs> sorry y'all we're in the parking lot target and these like parking lots be so dark and creepy but i turned the light on real quick just to like see i got my food um 
kind of have it right now before I head into there. I don't know. I'm just going to be walking around in Target just to see what they have. I need floss and I also need a new tongue scraper. Um, do I need anything else? I don't know. But walking around, I will definitely like think of something. But it's just to kill time, to be honest, because we still have to wait for packs in. So that's really what we're doing. I'm going to grab my food and then we're going to walk around. I'm so hungry. I don't know why I'm this hungry. And I feel like I'm going to be hungry after I eat my food. I don't know if that makes sense, but let me add a sandwich. As of late, my appetite has been so big, and I think it's with all this working out. I'm like almost always hungry. I got some hash browns. Yeah, I got some spicy sriracha sauce, because why not? the heck i can never open these but i'm just gonna eat let me make sure my doors are locked because we in a creepy parking lot <laughs> i'm just gonna eat and then go to the store okay hash browns are fresh mm. oh my god that this is food that is good that's great I forgot to say some grace. That's how hungry I am. Uh, I don't know who I thought I was. I thought that knit would have looked so good with some jeans and some like sandals. You know, a good cute summer vibe. But it was so warm. As soon as I put it on, I felt hot. So we're not going to get that. Anyways, I'm walking to the home section to see what they have. And baby, y'all saw the little clip? The arms. The body is body. Okay. And this Target is super annoying because it has no music. It's just like, it's so quiet in here. I can hear my thoughts. y'all target had nothing like not a zilch like i was trying to see if i found something in home they have nothing i ended up just getting the um oh my god rude <laughs> sorry i ended up just getting um the tongue scrapers so i got two since target is so far from me even though you're supposed to change them out every three months when you change your toothbrush out um, I tend to have it on schedule with my um, electronic toothbrush, but the other day when I switched my toothbrush, I didn't have one in the back, so yeah, that needs to be changed. And I got the floss, as y'all saw, I got some floss. And then I got just like Paxton's toppers for his food and some 
chicken broth to go on top of his kibbles and his food just to, you know, spice things up for him and let his food be a little bit more delicious. Um, I'm waiting for him. I'm trying to think what to do now. I might just head back over there. Y'all, these places are like three minutes away from each other. I went to Chick-fil-A. That was like a minute and a half. It was right there across the street. And then I went to Target, which was like three minutes. So he's not ready yet, but he's definitely on the table because a lady called to ask me about his nail. Remember Paxton had injured his nail. So she called to say, you know, um, if I knew that it was growing like out funny and I'm like yeah and then they wanted to know if I wanted to cut it so that's what they did um that was like 10 42 I think I'm gonna drive to the location and sit in my car because I don't know what else to do so I'm gonna have the loaf and then once I get packed and I'm going home to lay down. I feel like I'm so tired and today is supposed to be my active rest day and tomorrow is supposed to be my rest day as well. And I'm just all over the place. I feel really exhausted. So when I get home, I'm going to lay out, like just lay out and do nothing. And that's what I feel like. Order this booty bag off Amazon that I saw. I don't know if it's called a booty bag, whatever. I saw it on Instagram. It is so light, like it weighs nothing. Why is it scratched up? Like it's scratched up. I don't know if y'all can see. How, Amazon, how? I mean, it did come in a packet like it's new. And this is the inside. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I guess you can put like lip gloss or something. I don't know. I bought it because I wanted to do a look, but this look like somebody done returned this. Amazon been just like real dirty as of late, like really, really dirty. Ugh. Oh my God. I'm gonna send this back. Ciao. Amazon then made me so annoyed with that purse. I bought some earrings. Let's see if those are better. There are. They're a dupe for the Bottega earrings, I think. So let's see, because they're supposed to go with a bag for the look. I'm definitely returning that bag. Okay. They're so flattering. Okay. I like these. I like these a lot. Maybe some nice earrings. Now I see the hype. Speaking of earrings, I did receive these um, Julie Priest. I can't talk. I did receive these jewelry pieces from Soko. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, they had sent them to me the other day and I forgot. But let's get into some good stuff because mm -mm, love the box. And they sent me their earrings and also their rings. Okay, those are cute. That's cute. They're cute. Um, and we have the rings to match. Hopefully they can fit me. Am I ashy? Let's ignore the fact if I'm ashy, but they're cute. They're very classy. I guess you can stack them or if you want to wear them separately, but I feel like it looks better like this and I'm super ashy, so let me step away from the camera. But it does go with the earrings. So, so nice. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how many days later this is. Today is Thursday. I have not been on here. A lot happened. I don't know why I wasn't vlogging. I just did not feel like it. And I had so much work to get done. I could not. I could not. I was behind on my vlog, like a paid content that I needed to get done. So yeah, on the weekend, I wanted to take a break. So I didn't vlog. I just did my weekend. I went to church. Um, on Monday, I sat down, I was editing the whole day. The whole day, I was just at a computer. And then on Tuesday, what did I do on Tuesday? 
Oh no, oh my God, y'all, nah. On Monday, I went to do my hair. So I'm gonna insert like a little clip. My hair was fire, but baby, we went to the gym Wednesday and Thursday. In order to get like the most out of my hair, I could not work out. I'm about to head to Home Goods. I bought some stuff for Khalil's bathroom. And y'all, this bathroom still has the yellow light only because I only have two bulbs. I need to figure out how to get a single bulb with the daylight because I don't like how this looks. But I bought these things on Sunday when I went to church. Um, well, after church. Let me take it out here because I hate how those, the light looks in here. But I feel like this would go so good in the bathroom. Like, it would go so well. So that's what we got. Um, I usually do whites or blacks for the bathrooms and like the guest bathroom are like nudes. But because I wanted to kind of like go with that side of the house, I got this. And then I got these bottles. I don't know if I'm keeping them, but I think they look so good. Conditioner, shampoo. I hate the yellow light, but we're just gonna act like, you know, it's normal. Conditioner, shampoo, and then body wash. They're huge bottles. So I'm like, this will hold a lot. And then I was thinking of getting a shelf, like what's in my bathroom, and putting it right here or under here. So look, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. So I have to order that from Amazon. The only thing else that's missing is like a rug. So I'm gonna go to this other home goods to see if I can find like a rug. You know, I like an area rug or like a runner to put in the bathroom. I don't like bathroom rugs. And then I need some artwork, but I haven't been finding anything that looks nice. Leave it to home goods. Why is there Halloween so hot? I'm confused. They're early, early. <laughs> Why? Somebody's really be pissing me off, because why? Yeah, I just grabbed some Trick fil a and I'm at the light right now. The light is on green. Why is nobody moving? Um, I'm trying to go to TJ Maxx. Hold on, because I think they're doing road work because nobody's moving. What is going on? Uh, okay, they were not doing road work, so I don't know why we were just like stuck and not moving. But I want to eat the sandwich because I'm starving. I was going to go to Starbucks, but that's a dub. I am so hungry. Starbucks was not going to do it for me right now. And it's too late. It's like 1 o'clock. So we're driving to TJ Maxx. And I'm going to eat this food. Like, by the time I get there. Well, I'm going to have the fries at least. I'm so hungry. It's like 15 minutes away. I'm finally home. It's 3.08. I don't know what I was doing on the road for three hours, but, 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 let me catch my breath. Ooh. Like I brought all the bags inside and I forgot about the camera, so I had to go back to the car. Um, whew. Chat, I stopped at Publix really quickly and I need to get like fresh flowers. These are the ones, these are like the second week since I've had these. I feel like they could stay a little bit, but it looks nasty, I don't know. I'm gonna throw them out. I'm definitely gonna throw them out. I feel like maybe they could have stayed like that. Okay, definitely throwing them out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they had the three for 12. So I decided I was just gonna put these in the front. Just like some baby breath, just to give it, you know, something is better than nothing. And then they have these mini roses, which I enjoyed. The last time I bought them, I put them 
in the little vase and put them beside my bed. We got home good stuff. Then I went to TJ Maxx. I got the backpacks, so that's good. And then I stopped to get stuff to cook dinner. I'm gonna make shrimp, not shrimp, well, chicken pasta. But I did get some shrimp. I got salmon, so I got my food for tomorrow. Um, and then I got chicken breast, some apples, and some avocados. Okay, guys, so this is the baby's breath. It's two bunches. I mean, they're not my roses, as per usual, but it's better than the roses that were there because those look terrible. And I feel like it's going to look a little bit more like, you know, like alive after it sucks up the flower food. But I think it's cute. It's better than nothing. Um, you know, we like some fresh vibe when we walk in. So that's what's going to stay. And I'll probably keep these for a week. I don't know how long they'll last. And then we'll get our usual roses. But I'm not mad at them. And then these are the little mini ones. It comes with like four. And then each stem has like four roses. So it's like a dozen. These are cute. And they'll look even better in a few days. Okay, guys. So I've been trying to get a bed for Paxson for so long. And I think I returned two beds that weren't it. I think this could be the bed. It's so swat. Okay. This looks like us. Go check it out, Paxton. <laughs> go try it out. He went right back in his grief. He's crazy. Come on, go test it out. Mm. Oh my God, Paxton and the bed is almost the same color. Yeah, so I'm trying the rug out. I mean, it could have been a little bigger, but it's not bad. It feels so good under my feet. Like, it feels so plush. Wow. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It feels so nice. Like, it feels so nice. It's not really showing the color, but I think it's a great rug this is nice Put up those screens and then we'll see how it goes but for now I'm just gonna leave it so i can like pass by and look to see you know oh do i still like it but i think i think it's good guys guys i bought one of these things i don't know what they're called but i feel like it will look good i was gonna put it on my ad book let's see wait no, I don't know how you, how you turn these things. You put it on the side. You turn it up. I don't know. Um, I picked up this candle. Hopefully, it smells good because home goods, the candles be pissing me off. Um, and then the sand and fog. I think this is a crisp white. It smells like just clean laundry, so I can do that. So it smells fresh in here. Let's see what this gives. Guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> I've been everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Um, today is Friday. I went to the gym as you can see. I had my hat on and I was outside, but I went to the gym and we came back and then I went to Walmart um, to buy some like some protein stuff. And then what else did I get? Yeah. Oh dishwasher because i was trying to wash the dishes like two days now and i didn't have any soap for that and then i just got some muffins and a bagels i'm gonna make breakfast it's like 12 o'clock right now we're making breakfast at this time i mean matter of fact oh my god it's one o'clock i was supposed to do a video today like a wig video i have to do my hair and then i have a reel that i want to do but baby my body is not giving to do it. So I'm going to go make my breakfast at 1 o'clock. I'm going to make me two eggs and bacon. But with avocado and a bagel. 
but spoiler alert i went to the refrigerator there was no bacon i don't know why i thought i had bacon and i was just at the store so there's no bacon for the breakfast so we're just gonna have two eggs um a bagel and the avocado if it's ripe too because they might be green but yeah a mess <laughs> a mess and i wanted to tell y'all that i ordered a tv right yeah these are not ready i ordered a tv on um when it was prime day i ordered a bro all of these are damn this one mm, it's really hard and i don't want to cut it and it's like really green on the inside ciao i gotta figure something out for breakfast because this is just like really not right but i ordered a frame tv um I wanted to get a TV for my room, even though I said I was not going to get another TV. I did decide to get a TV again. I know, I know. I got rid of my other TV saying I will not get a TV. Um, I want to go to my room and sleep and not watch TV, but the wall is bothering me. It's so bare and I feel like the frame TV will be perfect. Um, so they had the 55 inch on sale. It's usually $14.99, but on Prime Day, it was $940 like something dollars. So I'm like, yeah. So we got it. I thought that was a great, that's like that was the best deal I saw. Like all the little things that are taking off like five, 10%, that didn't matter. Like we can buy that on a regular day, but the frame TV for that price was really, really good. So we ordered that. It should be coming um, Monday. So let's see. And then I have to get someone to put it up. And then I want like um, the wooden thing to go on it, the frame, but I have to buy that. And it was like a hundred and something dollars. So we're not buying that right now. love the smell of this my favorite hand soap from target i'm gonna put it in here y'all this is the bathroom so far um i think i love it only thing that's missing i'm gonna get a very big picture frame to put over here it needs it that's just so much like wall space so um i'm gonna see and then i'm going to put another frame over these towels that are here 
I love, 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 love how this Turkish shower curtain came out. It looks so good. So, so good. And then because we don't have this stand yet, like the wall thing to put the bottles, I just laid them over there. It looks so nice. And then I have some washcloths and um, a face hand towel thing in that. So that looks really good. And then the, I think the rug looks great. I'm gonna leave it for now. The countertop doesn't have anything yet. It just has a soap bottle, but that's good for now. It looks really clean in here and I love that. Um, I do wanna get something to put on here for like decor. Uh, we'll see how that goes whenever I find it. But for now, it feels so good in here. Like it looks cute and I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I feel like this whole side of the house has its own like a vibe and I don't know if I showed you guys these, this picture wall that I did I had this at my other house right but they were six going across but this wall was so blank it had nothing so I decided to put them like this and then I want to put a picture light but the way how my OCD is set up I feel like the picture frames were not like fully even in terms of the space from there to there but I don't think it's bad I could just add a picture light um, or I was thinking to add two more frames it'll bring your eyes all the way up so when you come in you're gonna be like whoa <laughs> or I just put the picture light right there and leave it I think feel like I should just probably add the picture light um, but we're gonna see but I love how this side of the house has its own little personality the bathroom great I can't wait to get the white light to switch this out and then you know Kyle's room over here um I'm gonna be ordering a nightstand just a drawers thing that I saw I'm going to get this wall done in black I don't know if I told you guys that before but I'm gonna get it done in black so the bed will pop out everything else will pop out I'm looking at rugs not sure of the rug yet but I see one that I think I want for this room and then the drapes are coming so that's gonna get taken care of and then the mirror we don't know what we're doing with this yet this might just not be in here but for now it's right there gone to shower but I was just doing a lot the dishwasher is done we finally have clean dishes so I'm gonna empty that in a while it's nice and clean and together in here just gonna grab a shower and I'll be back. I'm tired. Hey babes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I did not return from the last time I was telling y'all. But today's Saturday. I didn't do my hair yesterday like I was supposed to. So I did the hair today. And I did the makeup. And I just recorded, I think, a, a reel. I don't know if I like it. Um, uh, I don't know. But we're gonna edit it to see. I always record like get dressed um videos and then i'm just like eh. but we're gonna see we did our hair today i have the blondes going on the barbie blonde <laughs> i have my dress on y'all it's a mess in here you're not even on the stand i was doing here and then getting already i started to tidy up a little bit so it's not too terrible but baby this was the bag I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep her. I love how it looks. I don't think it's like a good way to like show this. I wanted to unbox this bag, but I didn't because I didn't, I wanted like a green bag and I ordered this off Amazon and it was the seven day um, try before you buy thing. So I'm like, mm, you get seven days to try her on and see if you love it. So I really love the green. and I think this would be such a great staple for a green bag because I don't really have a green bag. Um, but that's what we used. I gotta get my life. I gotta get my life. We're gonna see when I sit down to like go through it, what it looked like. I'm gonna tidy up and I'm starving. I'm starving. It's like three different greens, but I feel like they go. I don't know. I don't know, but I want to show y'all the look because I'd be on here looking like, you know, like we homeless. <laughs> oh my God. I just wanted to show y'all that your girl got together, you know, and remind y'all, you know, the girl always stop playing with her. I'd be looking crazy, and then we out. Give me five. <laughs> Anyways, let me clean this place up really quickly. It's like after eight, guys. 
Okay, y'all, look at me. You look at, bro, I was just in the rain. Look at my hair. So we got a delivery from Homery. It is a outdoor day bed, which I was so excited for. Baby, it came as a freight um, package. So it came with a pallet and it was a lot. I had to literally go and knock on my neighbor's door and both of them came out to help me. The package was bigger than me. Let me show y'all what it looked like. Like the package was bigger than me, okay? Um, and they only, they left it outside. So, have to get help. We had to literally tear the box apart downstairs and then, and then pick the pieces up bit by bit to take them up the stairs. And we were in the rain and girl was sweating. I feel like I got my workout in for the day because that was a lot. Like, look at the box. This is huge. Huge, 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 huge. So the pieces are on the patio and we're gonna put it together. I mean, it's wet as ever on the patio because it was full. Oh, and this is what we're working with. I wish they had delivered it on a day when it was sunny, but what can we do? The rain is not trying to make me be great today, but it's okay. Uh, my camera kept fogging up. It looks better now. I had to go get a cloth to wipe the thing off because I think the condensation is what it's called, the heat, the rain just like a lot going on um i did use a slipper to like wipe down the area a little bit it's not completely dry but this is the best i can do and there goes the camera fogging up again the instructions literally said two people for assembly but i'm going to be that two people today because we don't have a choice so uh, let's go let's get this done um yeah and then after it's done i can see what else i need i want to get a rug so i'm thinking we're gonna go to the at-home store tomorrow so i can get a rug I'm wondering if I should push it all the way over. I don't know. But you see how I said I was in my new Marquia tiles? I'm gonna have to buy another set to get some more extra space right there, which is huge. Oh my god. Y'all, it is a little bigger than I thought. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. Instead of having it this way, which I wanted it to be this way, I feel like when it's this way, like your feet, if you lay down, is gonna be all the way there. So I kind of like. The corner a bit better um so i'm gonna put the stuff on and we're gonna see how it turns out guys this is what it's looking like right now it's a beautiful outdoor bed i'm not gonna lie but i just need to figure out how to get everything to flow together i just came back from outside i was supposed to take my camera today i honestly forgot we went to at home look at how i'm sweating and i went to my nail girl because i'm getting an ingrown on my toe so i had to take the acrylic off Anyways, about this at home, which we're gonna take outside, about that, and I bought a rug, and it is an eight by 10, which I don't know if it'll work because I didn't measure it. I know I wanted something bigger than a five by seven. So I'm thinking, um, trying to find my measuring tape. I'm thinking I can like remove the tiles and then just use the rug so it'll be more flat. But that's really what we're up to. You know what? Where's my water bottle? I'm so thirsty. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. It is so hot outside. It is so hot. It is so hot. Jesus. Ooh. And I forgot my water bottle. So I am dying. And then the guy is supposed to come to install my TV for me. 
I didn't tell y'all, but when it was Prime Day, I bought a frame TV. I know I said I didn't want a TV in my room anymore, but I got one. And guys, I also went to get my mail, like, or package system has been down. I wasn't able to retrieve my packages yesterday, but my friend, my amazing friend, Nisa, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. She came up from Jamaica and she packed me a care package and she shipped it to me. I am so just like overwhelmed and so happy that she would think to do that for me because I was missing home so bad. I have real patties, y'all, like real Jamaican patties. Like this is from Jamaica. It's supposed to be frozen, but because um, it was left in the package room, they're not spoiled, we thank God, so I'm gonna put them in the freezer right now. Real seasonings, like real Jamaican seasonings. Curry, oh my God. Papa, banana chips, hey. Wow, I am so excited. And then she said the chips is what? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, friend, thank you so much. Watch banana chips, hey, the girl not nah, do banana chips today. I'll be back because I already turned my oven on. I'm about to make a patty right now, like a real patty. The patio will have to wait. I'm gonna have me a patty and I'm just gonna chill for a second. Like I am burning up. I feel like I have sunburn. My face feels so irritated and I'm just over it, but I'm happy. I'm gonna have my real Jamaican patty wow. today. If you are from Jamaica, you know this is the best curry in the world. Like this makes your curry chicken, your curry good, so good. Look how much she sent me, like what in the world? And then these are my favorite seasonings. Y'all watch me so you know this is all I use. She sent me the chicken, oh, the all purpose, the jerk, you know, long, I don't see the seasoning. She sent me two of the jerk. And she sent me two Maggie fish seasoning. Oh my God, girl. I am just so overwhelmed. And then banana chips. Like, the lady, I'll go cook for days. Like, I'll be cooking, cooking for a long time. I will not be needing a seasoning. And then I have a whole dozen patty for myself. And she sent me some bulla. You know how long I haven't seen bulla? And then I have some cheese, like some Jamaican cheese that I bought. I'm gonna have bulla and cheese. The greatest part about this is I didn't ask her for it. She saw that I was here and I was really, really missing home. And she did this without even telling me and she made it happen like literally and the, the part about it is that that really just like struck me is she didn't ask me for any money towards doing this and she did it and she brought it and then she shipped it to me because she came up but she's not in Orlando so she had someone overnight the package to me like that is so amazing and my voice is cracking and I'm getting emotional because we're, I'm always the person that does for people and I'm never usually on like the receiving end so it's just amazing and heartwarming that someone could see you know I'm missing home and this would mean so much to me like Nisa I love you so much and I really really appreciate this girl like the dollar girl cry now let me go cry oh my god I'm so happy and I'm so excited I'm gonna be cooking I'm going to be cooking Hey guys, it's been a little while. I just wanted to end this vlog off. Um, the last thing that y'all saw was the outdoors. I did return the rug because it was too big. So we're just working with what we have right now. And then I just came back from the podiatrist. I had to go to get an ingrown remove and I realized that it wasn't just one. He told me there were two. So this is my foot right now. It hurts so, 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 so bad. So I'm supposed to go elevated. I think the fact that I was like in the car drive and then I drove back and then I was um, on the stairs, the pressure that was on there is really bothering me right now. And then I think the anesthesia that they put on my toe is wearing off because it's hurting so, so bad. 
but this is what we're working with <laughs> i have to go back in two weeks they had to cut both sides of my toes because it was on both sides and i didn't know um but yeah i went to the gym this morning before i went to my appointment because i knew i wouldn't be able to work out um and he told me to give it two days i have to keep this bandage on for let me just sit down because bro my toe is hurting i feel like all the pressure and all the pain that was supposed to be there that the anesthesia numbed is just like it's, it's on right now so i'm just gonna lay right here for a while um and then i wait on the pharmacy to call me to pick up my medication i took two like tylenol but i feel like i need to take another one oh like it's hurting so bad i don't have a high pain tolerance i hate surgeries i hate doctors like the whole time i was in there i was just, just like so nervous it wasn't good I, like mm -mm. But I'm supposed to stay off my, my, my foot for right now, elevate it for, you know, the rest of the day. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to take the bandage off and then soak it in Epsom salt. And they said white vinegar for 10 minutes. And I'm going to do that every day for the next two weeks, um, I think, because my follow up is in two weeks. And then after that, I think on my prescription, there's an ointment. I'm supposed to apply the ointment, wrap it with a band-aid and then put like the tape around it to keep it on and I change the band-aid every day and I do the soak every day and I take the antibiotics so I don't have an infection child that's a lot this is a lot I don't think I'll be going to the gym tomorrow morning but I'll resume the day afterwards this is crazy but here we are this is the end of this vlog guys i know this vlog was a little bit everywhere i feel like this is like almost two weeks all together it's just like a lot of chopped eh, chop 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 but i do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah i will definitely catch you guys in my next 